In this video, I will show you how you can dockerize your PHP application. So when I started Docker newly, <clears throat> though I was fascinated with the concept, but I had faced many hurdles before I could actually dockerize my PHP application. All the video on YouTube are just shown uh, what is already mentioned in the documentation, but I had to do some more research on the specific topic like how I can install PHP extensions or how to in create a virtual host and how to override P a PHP INI file and likewise. So in this video, I will try to address these issues and demonstrate how you can install PHP application, uh, PHP extensions, sorry, how to install SSL certificate and how you can create virtual host for uh, all the projects through Docker. I have already created a Git repo for that and I will provide you a link in the description. So this is my Git repository. Uh, also, before I could uh, get started on this, it would be beneficial to have some basic knowledge about Docker because I may not be covering all the detailed concept of Docker in this video, but I have already created a specific video on how to create a Docker, what is Composer, uh, what is Docker Compose.yml, what is Docker Compose, how you can install Docker, how you can install Docker Compose, uh, what are the parameters that you should include in YML file and likewise. So uh, you can check out that video. And in this video, I will show you, uh, as I have mentioned, I will show you how you can create a virtual host, install SSL certificate, PHP extensions and all. So let me just open up the VS code. So it is the same repository. Uh, though I will not be in detail, but let me just uh, explain few things. I have uh, in services, I have mentioned two services, MySQL and PHP. MySQL uh, for which uh, we have taken the latest MySQL image and I have made uh, the container name as a PHP 5.6 MySQL. <clears throat> for this video, uh, I have used PHP 5.6. I understand this is very old PHP version, but this also applies to latest PHP version as well. So if you wish to, you can always include uh, latest PHP uh, versions rather than going for 5.6 as shown in the video. Uh, in the environment variable, I have mentioned MySQL user, user password, the root password. Uh, be aware, uh, this is password for MySQL user. This is password for MySQL root user. And the database and the port by which we are going to communicate in the ports uh, i am going to use the same port uh, for docker and for mysql in my local system in php though i have tried to build a, a image my 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 own image from the docker's image uh, i have provided the container name as a 5.6 uh, mentioned the volumes like src folder and mounted it uh, for in Docker uh, var www HTML uh, specific location. And I have also inserted PHP INI file, which is going to override uh, PHP INI file in the Docker at this location. Enable ports 80 and 443. And let me also explain you uh, the folder structure here. So in conf, I have included all the configurations for Apache. Uh, we have sites available and in that I have created two uh, configuration virtual host. Uh, one is for uh, uh, HTTP and another is for HTTPS. I have generated the SSL certificate locally which I will show you in a bit how you can generate that uh, for Mac, for Windows. I will also explain how you can do that. Then inside the Apache, we have one more folder that is SSL. So whatever the certificate that we have generated, uh, we are storing that here. Uh, also, there are few demo configuration files about Apache then a docker file 
so i think this is not in use i will get rid of this let's go to the mysql so in mysql uh, in configuration uh, i have a my.conf this will overwrite uh, the uh, my.conf in the docker that explains configuration and in php ini uh, we have php ini to override uh, php ini on the server uh, sorry on the docker side then we have a mysql folder be aware uh, i have not inserted any of this uh, data this will be downloaded by docker we have just mounted this uh, mysql folder with in docker compose file uh, we have mounted that folder with varlib mysql so whatever that uh, we have once the uh, mysql image is mounted whatever we have at location varlib mysql that will be shown in the mysql folder here then uh, the last folder is src you can compare this src to htdocs or a var www html if you are coming from the linux background you can have n number of projects here and those projects for which we are going to create a virtual host in sites available uh, if required we are going to store certificate in ssl folder and this virtual host will then be uh, uh, associate uh, uh, attached to a PHP uh, build uh, through docker file so let's now go to the docker file in the docker file let me explain each and every command line by line so for now we are using 5.6 Apache as a, our base image then we are downloading the composer image and installing that composer image into apache uh, php image so uh, if uh, this is useful for uh, downloading the dependencies through composer uh, once you are using a docker in php uh, you need to go into the php container and then you need to run the co composer command to, uh, if you are using laravel as a project so if you are not using laravel and if you are using any other frameworks and you don't require composer for dependency manager you can get rid of this line then to install uh, extensions you can define n number of extensions as you can see i have defined pdo pdo mysql mysql i and mysql uh, extensions here then uh, we are going to copy uh, the ssl uh, files from our system to docker so this uh, left side this path represents to this folder structure and this right side uh, you can compare it as of you are uh, uploading a site on the linux environment so this is the same uh, structure that they are following you need to upload this to copy these two files to this location to this location sorry then uh, in the sites available we have virtual hosts both the virtual host uh, that has to be uploaded uh, or copied on this specific location in the docker and then through this command we are going to uh, run the apache ctl in the foreground after that we are going to load uh, modes uh, ssl modes because we are using https virtual host for uh, for the same site then uh, we are need to enable the rewrite mode uh, this mode is already there then we are need to enable the mime mode and then we are, finally we are going to uh, uh, move the sites uh, start the sites a to e n site that will uh, create your sim links in sites enable uh, uh, folder in the same hierarchy like etc apache and sites uh, uh, enabled in that you will get this uh, sim link for this uh, virtual host same goes for https protocol and then uh, finally we are restarting the apache services so that whatever the 
<coughs> virtual host that we have enabled that comes in the effect please note you also need to make the entry in your uh, local uh, uh, hosts file so for example if we see this is standard virtual host and in that we have defined our server name as dev.project1.loc so you need to insert this domain in your host file so that whenever we make this uh, run this domain uh, the uh, HT, uh, apache will find the records in the host file and they will uh, they will uh, uh, they will they will understand that this is a local machine uh, site so then uh, and then later they will uh, upload or sorry start uh, executing our project through the local library I have uh, uh, explained you each and everything here uh, now it is time to start the our container so for that I will go in the command prompt and I am at the location uh, uh, in uh, docker php mysql apache and we need to make sure that we have a docker compose.yml file at the root level now the command to start the docker is docker compose up hyphen d dash dash remove orphan so uh, we are instructing docker compose to start so that uh, uh, docker compose will under uh, read the docker compose.yml file and it will start the containers and and run that in the detached mode or in a background mode so that uh, you don't require to keep this uh, on uh, this command prompt on it will automatically run that in the background and at the same time it will also remove any orphan containers that uh, we have uh, uh, we have in our system from the previous build let's hit enter sorry it is remove orphans I actually have this running but let me just um, close that and then let me show you how actually it will look in your system So first it will start the network and then it will start the container one by one in our case it first started mysql and then it started 5.6 php 5.6 and let's go to our website uh, domain our domain is dev.project.1 it is already working but let me just reload and confirm that it works on both HTTP and HTTPS protocol so uh, since this is a locally certified uh, certification that we have provided and it is not verified one so uh, most of the time uh, when you first run your website on HTTPS it is very likely that you will get a prompt that uh, typical uh, uh, browser prompt where you have to allow uh, in order to load the website so make sure to uh, select that option and then you will get to load the website like this uh, one more thing that remains in this uh, is how to uh, how to issue a certificate so for that I'm using Mac and for Mac uh, we have a one dependency available that is mkcert you can install that by very simple command I already have that installed in my local mkcert and once you install that uh, you just need to write mkcert and then the domain for which you want to issue a certificate and that uh, will generate the PEM and key file uh, for uh, for you at the very location you need to copy that lo uh, files to SSL folder in our uh, conf apache folder 
and uh, in the docker file you have to provide the copy command so that it copies your uh, SSL certificate files on uh, in the PHP uh, container at the specific location where it should be and then uh, you will be able to run your website on HTTPS protocol. I hope I tried to cover everything in our in my video and it is very informational for you. Uh, if you have any questions, please uh, uh, feel free to provide those questions in the comments channel. I will try to answer them uh, whenever I can. Thanks. Thanks for watching this video.